Okay guys, today I'm showing you how to recreate these really easy DIY cheetah sneakers. First thing you'll need is white sneakers. I got these at Primark for $11. And then the next thing you'll need is acrylic paint. This is only like less than a dollar. And I just got some like cheetah colors, like different browns and black, maybe even white. And you can pick these up at any craft store. And then you'll need a pack of brushes. This came in a set, it was only a few dollars. Just different size brushes and different sponges. And then you'll need some Mod Podge, which is a sealer, which will just protect your shoes once it's all done and make it shiny. Okay, so now to get into the actual tutorial, I started out by painting my shoes the tannest like beige color. I really wanted them lighter. Um, I started out just by painting it all over and then I realized it might be a little easier to go around and do like the full edges and then once that was done, then go in and fill in the middle. Kind of like if you're doing a coloring book, you kind of outline first and then fill in the middle. It just makes it a lot more easy and you can be a lot cleaner and I think it takes less time. To get this area, I think it's called the tongue of the shoe. I don't know if I just made that up, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But uh, to get this area, you just paint whatever you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because you will have shoelaces there covering most of it up. So I just painted everywhere I could see, um, but the parts that go underneath the shoe and you won't see, it's not a huge deal if you don't get it all. This is what it will look like after one coat. I didn't like that it was a little bit choppy, so I just went in with a second coat, but that was totally personal preference. You do not have to do that. And then this is after two full coats. Here I'm just sketching with a pencil where I want the general area of spots to be. It doesn't have to be exactly where you put them, but I just kind of wanted like a rough draft of it just to have something to go on top of. And with the dark brown paint and the bigger paintbrush, I am just doing really rough kind of circles. Um, it is supposed to be animal spots, so you know, not two are alike. They can all be a little different, they can be a little sloppy, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. This is kind of where like the fun comes in. It really doesn't have to be perfect, it can be whatever way you want. I do like somewhat circle types, but again, they're not perfect, they're just kind of different shapes. Now here I am using one of the paintbrushes that I got. I'm just using the bottom of the paintbrush. It's a thicker paintbrush and I'm just dotting on black paint. So I'm literally just dotting all around the edges and this is really where it starts to look like cheetah print. I hope you can tell what I'm doing, but really it is just as simple as dotting that black on. Um, if you've ever done cheetah print nails, I actually have a tutorial on it on my channel, which I will link in the bio, but it's really just the exact same thing, just on a bigger scale. Okay, now to finish up the design and kind of get rid of all those empty spaces and make it look like a fully done design, I'm just going back in with the exact same tool, that same brush, and the exact same way I dotted before, and this time I'm just 
dotting two dots together. Now looking back at it, because of those brown um, spots are so large, I kind of wish I made those filler dots, the um, two dots together, a little bit bigger. But I don't think it looks bad, but maybe that's just a tip that you guys can take if you do do this design. I think it might look a little bit better with some larger dots to fill in the design. And because it is a shoe and we will be wearing it outside, just to make sure you seal and protect your design and also this makes it shiny, I like to add Mod Podge. I pretty much do this on like every kind of design I make, whether it be like just canvas art or anything like that. I really think it helps finish a design and makes it look professional and complete. At first you'll get a little bit scared because it'll look like this. It is partially glue. so. At first you might think you ruined your design, but after like an hour or maybe even less than an hour, it completely dries 100% clear and it just looks really awesome. And now you'll be able to wear them outside and not ruin them, not get them dirty, and it makes it somewhat waterproof. So here they are completely finished. I love how shiny they are. I think they turned out so great. I've already worn them out a few times. I'm obsessed with them. I love cheetah print and they were super easy, so affordable. I hope this really helped you guys. I hope it was easy to follow along. Check out my bio for more in-depth descriptions and prices and everything. I hope you guys really enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!